It's a brand new day, a brand new week, and a brand new life. Thanks be to God. Hi, my name is Brother Pio, and welcome to Repeal Lections. Today, let's play with fire. It's amazing to see how fire can be used for such a beautiful performance, but also thinking that it could be dangerous. Now let us remember that fire is neither good nor bad. It is how we use it and the result of how we use it that makes it good or bad. Now when we think of fire, we usually associate it with strong emotions, our urges, our passions, and anger. Now all of these strong emotions are actually important parts of being alive. Anger, for one, is neither good nor bad. However, it is how we use anger that makes it good or bad. If we use anger to destroy someone, to say something bad about someone, to insult or hurt someone, then that is bad. However, anger could also be used for good if it will empower and propel us to act, to protect the abused, to fight injustice, and to make things better in the world. In the gospel, Jesus got angry when he saw the corruption and abuse in the temple. However, he did that anger out of love. His love for those who are abusing that they may not sin. And his love for those being abused that they will no longer be abused. Moreover, it is also out of his love for the Father to be respected in the temple. Friends, anger is indeed like medicine. It is good for healing. However, just like medicine, it also has an expiration date. And if we continue to be angry beyond the expiration date, it is going to be toxic in our lives. My friend, what strong emotions are you feeling right now? I pray that by God's grace, we have control over these emotions rather than these emotions controlling us. Can we pray together? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Loving Father, we praise and thank you for this brand new week, for making us alive. Lord, we offer to you everything that we feel, including our strong emotions. Give us the grace and the strength to control them rather than them controlling us. In that way, we can use them, Lord, for your greater glory in becoming more like Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this Monday. I pray that you will have a blessed week controlling your emotions. Take care and see you on the next Repeal Actions.